Hello friends, uh, this is Nick, Infrasonic Audio. I wanted to demonstrate the first uh, fully controllable prototype of my string feedback synth engine running on Simple. So I've got knobs uh, roughly in groups according to the design Roy's been helping me with. Uh, this is the delay, the echo delay section on the right here. I'll explain what all the controls are as I play it. And this is more of the tone section. So the basics of the synth, these three bigger knobs are the more important parameters. And some of you have heard this before. Um, this is the feedback gain or, or the drive control uh, overall on, on the fed back string uh, waveguide thing. This is the uh, body control or the delay time for that um, Carplus Strong uh, waveguide feedback. And then this is the pitch of the string, so like the length of the string. And if we turn this up, eventually it starts to feed back, and that's how we get sound. So it will feed back also for different pitches at different delay times. We'll create a, a resonance that feeds back more than others. But if we turn this up, substantially, then we just get, it doesn't really matter where we are, we'll always get feedback. that's the essence of the sound production mechanism. There are a couple other controls uh, that may be added later. But uh, the other thing about this part is the tone controls. So this is a high pass filter and a low pass filter. Right now they're at their like, you know, let everything through settings. So the low pass is set to a high cutoff. High pass is set to a low cutoff. But if I change that, high pass, for example, only get the higher harmonics feeding back. And similarly for the low pass. Yeah, so as far as uh, being an instrument, I think it's more interesting that it's somewhat unpredictable. Uh, you don't play this with a traditional keyboard or sequencer, at least right now, um, but rather you kind of feel out these feedback resonances and create soundscapes with them. Um, more features to be added to enhance that thinking later, uh, as well as potentially a contact microphone to allow you to sort of create your own input to the feedback loop. Right now it's just a very, very, very inaudibly small amount of white noise that is uh, fed into the initial car plus strong string, which with the feedback turned all the way down, you don't, you don't hear anything, but the feedback is what allows that noise to grow. So finally, uh, over here we have the delay section. So this is delay time. This is like a standard echo delay. I modeled it kind of like a tape delay. So it's got Doppler shift, you'll hear that, and then some filtering and a feedback that goes above Unity, uh, which is a lot of fun. So this is feedback, time, and send amount. Uh, now I'm a fan of using send for my wet, or my uh, time-based effects rather than wet dry. Uh, I really like being able to selectively send some sound to the delay and have it keep playing out. So anyway, Yeah, feedback's kind of low, so let's turn that up.
So if I turn the send down, that'll just keep playing because the feedback is at or above Unity. Then I can play on top of it. Add something new into it. And it's worth mentioning this delay time goes quite long, which is a lot of fun. So there's some filters in the feedback loop, so you lose some of the some of the tone in the delay when or in the echo when you change the pitch rapidly. Um, yeah, and I may adjust those filters in the echo feedback loop uh, to be a little less aggressive. Right now, they're cutting out quite a lot, especially in the low end. But anyway, uh, this is super fun to play. <laughs> I'm so happy to have this on simple and actually working. <laughs> 